There's also an argument to be made that maintenance costs are necessary to keep projects alive and pass them down from generation to generation. The Ise Grand Shrine is a Shinto shrine in Japan that's torn down and rebuilt every 20 years, a practice that's continued for more than 1,200 years now. This practice of tearing down and rebuilding serves a real purpose, which is not only to keep the shrine looking fresh and new, but also to pass down the techniques of construction to future generations. Similarly, software requires tearing down and reconstruction to keep the tradition of building alive. Fergus Henderson is a longtime software engineer at Google who once wrote about Google's internal processes. And according to Fergus, most software at Google gets rewritten every few years. He gave a few reasons for this. The first being that product requirements change to keep up with modern technology and changing user preferences. But he also points out that rewriting software has positive benefits for their organization, like trimming down unnecessary code complexity, as well as transferring knowledge and a sense of ownership to newer team members. So there are a lot of good reasons why software is never done. Like the Ise Grand Shrine, it's a process that never ends and one that involves passing knowledge from one generation to another. Despite its challenges, software maintenance shouldn't be considered a problem per se. It's just a part of the ecological life cycle.